Firstly, if you're one of these people who says, I defeated Marshall on my first playthrough, it was easy, well then this video is not for you. However, if like me, you found this final boss very frustrating, uh, I actually spent four hours trying to defeat Marshall before I finally broke and thought there must be an easier way, then this video is for you. But before I get to how I overcame these frustrations, let's just take a look at what you have to do in this level to stand a chance. So go to the table first of all and summon backup and a ranger will be sent to your position. You will need that backup. Marshall's going to be waiting on the platform ahead of you and you need to make your way to the left platform there because there's a cave there you'd want to defend and you've got some spikes there you can raise up in order to kill the bad guys. Now there's another two cave entrances there. Marshall's actually capable of uh, breaking the rocks there and allowing the bad guys out so what you want to do first off is literally try and keep her on that platform ahead of you and uh, yes yeah, so throw as much as you can at, you, at her until you run out of energy then resort to your weapon then back to your throwing stuff at her until your ranger appears in order to help out now uh, once he's there he can help tie up the lesser bad guys while you sort of focus on her and uh, yes the the thinking behind keeping her on this platform is so that she can't open all of the cave entrances because if she opens all three there's just literally all hell breaks loose. When Marshall tries to cross the bridge it's good to try and destroy that bridge while she's still on it and uh, it won't actually damage her but it will definitely stop her from making her way over to you. However if she does make it over to you beware not to damage the cave behind you because then that's just going to uh, add to the chaos <laughs> and you don't want to do that. So the spikes on this platform definitely come in handy because literally every time you touch the ground you're either going to have these kind of cavemen type bad guys or Marshall herself suddenly materialize next to you. Yes, and this level they can literally just disappear and reappear right next to you. So it seems simple enough, doesn't it? Jump in the air, raise the spikes, drop down, wait for them to rematerialize and repeat the process over and over again. If only it was that simple though, because yes, there are other factors and with all the chaos of all the other bad guy types exploding around you or trying to smash you with an ax, then there was this guy, the sniper. He's the one that really broke me. Every single time he hit me, it literally destroyed my health bar with one hit. Uh, very, very unfair, and he was incredibly accurate and trying to dodge his aim there, which you can see displayed with the, the kind of light beam, uh, was almost impossible with everything else going on around you, including the screamers exploding and Marshall you know, materializing and smashing you with her axe, all the kind of cavemen guys here. Yeah, I just died over and over and over again for four hours and I was like I just can't do this I cannot do this even the shield didn't really stop me from taking the hits so what did I do well it turns out that although you can't change the difficulty there is an assist mode and now uh, it does prompt you to uh, not use it and to try your best because they've made this game challenging for a reason yeah well after four hours I was like screw that I am I am gonna change this up and uh, yeah I, I basically maxed out my damage reduction multiplier which essentially is going to make you bulletproof. And if you want a bit of a challenge still, you don't have to max the slider out, but uh, I did because I'd had enough by this stage and I really wanted to complete this level. Also, try to keep your ranger alive as long as possible so that he can still tie Marshall up for you and give you a bit of a breather from time to time. And you see that there, we've got another character suddenly materialized but with a green bar above his head. Now if you befriended the former earlier on in the DLC rather than fought him, then at this stage he's going to send what looked like the hiss but they've got the green health bar uh, to help you. So be careful not to kill the ones with the green health bar because uh, yeah, they are your friendlies at this point. So uh, yeah, when you finally manage to kill Marshall and you get the, uh, the message at the top of the screen, cleanse the nail, you know it's finally over and you can take a deep breath, stretch your fingers out for a moment and uh, <laughs> get rid of that frustration. I mean, I'm all for a challenge, but this was just a step too far. I mean, being able to be one-shotted by that guy who was, like, so accurate, you know, that trying to avoid him was almost impossible. Uh, yeah, it was just ridiculous. It'd take him out of the equation by making yourself bulletproof, and the level was much more manageable. 
And before you go, it's not entirely obvious where you have to go to get out of here once you've cleansed the nail. The entrance that you came in from is now closed, and uh, the other caves are sealed. And uh, it's not until you get to this angle that you can see some light appearing through the cave uh, the, on the platform that you were defending. And that, as it turns out, is the way to get out of here. So once you get to this point, it's all obvious, you've done this before. But I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.